When they were at pause, you know, the way your screen is shaking and the voice, it doesn't make people understand what is going on. But let me try and explain to you. When they arrested this trailer, right? And they were questioning the driver, what did you carry at the back? He said he carried salt. So they insisted, open the back, let us see the salt you are carrying. Nine human beings, full of needs. They were transporting them to the east. Newi, Mbano, Oka, Mbisi, Mbitonu, Eboi. All those, that's where they are transporting them. They already have weapons, nothing to worry about that. Weapons have gone ahead. <laughs> and you know, when they are trying this one and it's not working, they started finding Kurukareway in order to start another lockdown. So that they will place a coffin by 12 in the night to 4 a.m. in the morning. So while we are inside sleeping, they will be transporting them. But the God of heaven woke the southern governors and they got up and began to talk. They now started fighting each other that no, they don't say there will be another lockdown. Who know no within they happen? I have analyzed it. They are here. A brother wore his crucifix last Sunday and entered into the bus. And the bus carried all of them, thinking that they were coming to this way. The bus just branched around Osho, decide, enter one bush, started going. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. Now you be the brother, Abi. Now you be the wife of the brother. Now your husband, Abi. Oh, look at him. Uh -huh. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Anybody that wants to shed your blood. Oh, I guru Jesus Christ. He would have been lost. His blood would have been shed. But the moment they looked at him and saw the crucifix on his neck, they say, you, go. You, go, 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 go. Get out of here. Get away from here. Leave these people. You are not one of these people. You are not the kind of people we are looking for. We cannot kill you. We cannot shed your blood. With this thing on your neck. Get you think what I am doing is for nothing? You think there is no power in what you are carrying? They say, you, you wearing that thing. Get out. Leave these people. You are not one of the people we are looking for. Carry this thing you wear on your neck and don't spoil our business. Now only crucifix they see. No be ring they see for your hand. When they see the ring in your hand, the boss will catch fire. The boss will catch fire. The boss will catch fire. Oko simili na lolu ya, ifupe na noya, 
Somebody just reminded me, not because we were count, but the person just said, anytime you cross one month, since you already know when I start, I will bring a live chicken to Christ. So you crossed to one year, eight months, and I had come to the compound to drop the live chicken. That's when I remember that it's already one year, eight months already, a few more months now. It shall be two years. And you think I would prepare something and give it to you and God will not honor me? God will first of all look at the heart that prepares it. He knows that I am not ready to run away from you. I am ready to stand with you no matter what happens. They say you. You. He was looking at We are talking to you. You that is wearing this, get out of this people. And when he came down and started looking to know where he was in Lagos, he realized he does not know where he was. They came down and said, listen, we know you don't know where you are. Take this road like this. Follow it this way. It will lead you to the express road. what happened it was when I was having a meeting with the pastor they just heard part of the story after they left and went I had a complete write up from him when I was reading the letter telling the true story he didn't know where he was when he dropped he was wondering which part of Lagos is this he didn't know whether to go straight go left, go right but following the verse, we shall, that is not an option. So they just jump down and say, yes, we know. You don't know where to go. You see, come this way. You see this road there. When you reach that road, branch this way. Branch like this. Enter like this. Then keep going. You will meet the express. Anybody that wants to remove you from express. Holy God. Holy God. Holy God. Holy God. That's how we escape. Every one of you under this roof, the bullet of a full animal man will not kill you. The bullet of a kidnapper will not kill you. The bullet of war will not find you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. When you will, pause, pause. Oh yes, ordinance, you need to claim this. Because if they want to deal with me first, they will start with you. They know that if they touch any of my ordinance, they have touched me. If you cannot kill a father, kill his son. Kill his son. Go and touch Father Pius. Go and touch Dikin Ogala. The man must shake, whether, no matter how strong he is. Go and touch A.B. God bless you. <laughs> Go and touch him. Go and touch it's a lie. You know, I am waiting for the last coffin. I'm going to give you a small coffin to carry and put inside that coffin. And all those who want you and mommy dead, they will die the night of that coffin. 